Hello underwater tubers and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria Adventure Maps with me Blue Ankylo playing the story of Blue Cloud and trying to do the under ice ocean temple whatever they call it underwater temple and uh, I was having a hard time last episode finding sort of where to go next now I may have found it here uh, I've just been sort of going down and right from where I used to be so uh, you know don't ask me to do it again but uh, I'm trying to find new areas and obviously I had not blown that wall up, so this is somewhere I've probably not been before. And judging by the background changing, maybe this is the way to go. So, yeah, welcome back folks. We are exploring... No, that's kind of a dead end here. To go to the right, maybe. So yeah, I'm just uh, cruising around trying to find my way through. Trying to limit how much backtracking I show on camera. Because, you know, I, I don't want to do tons of it. I think it was like... No, I've been in there, so this is a new area. Good. I've never been here before. Chaos Elemental. Psh. Do, do, do. No. Shoot. Maybe I just didn't see the way down there before. Okay. So that's one of the little safe houses, and I probably just never went down here. So let's go down here. I'm still kind of convinced that it's downwards I need to go rather than up or left or right or anything, so let's try this one. Nope. I mean, maybe I'm allowed to mine through that, I don't know. I guess I could have tried to find out. Eh, this is probably it. This looks nice and wide. This looks like I'm going the right way. Doo doo, just falling down the water. Falling on down, falling on down. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is this dungeon okay? It's a water it's a water level. I'm not a huge fan of water levels. But it's not so bad. It'd be worse if I was drowning constantly, to be honest. Okay. Let's go take a breath. This is looking promising. Okay. Okay. Alright. So. Oh, a whole lot of signs. Well, okay, we'll go that way in a second. Let's just go finish this water bit off. Make sure there's nothing else down here. <laughs> Judging by those signs, that's where we're supposed to go. I mean, maybe, maybe there's more stuff down here. I don't know. Feels like that's got to be the boss room. And this will connect up with somewhere we've been before, probably. Oh, that's a hell bat, though, isn't it? Like, hard mode fire bat or whatever. Oh, don't you curse me. Alright, so this leads us back down maybe to the next dungeon? Yeah, you have to walk through lava to get through a lot of that. Okay, I've already got the blue hero's outfit. Yeah, 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 of course. Why is there a door there? That's silly. Mia Kato, when fighting the Soro, keep an eye on how much damage you're doing and how fast. The Soro has the power to become invincible. Okay, so that's the same as the Rage then, although I never did nearly enough damage for that to actually happen. Alright, so maybe once I've got the red armor, I can go down there. It does look like there's stuff down there, so that could be cool. I kind of like the idea of having hidden under lava stuff. That'd be awesome. Alright. So I've got the blue armor set. Pretty sure this is the right thing for this boss. Fight. I imagine we're going to fight it in, a, in a, a water room or something. Alright. Well, I hope you guys are prepared for a lot of talking. <laughs> Look at all these signs. Oh, there's like little water pumps. So it's a waterfall. Cool. Alright, enemies. Just give me a second here to read the signs. Come on. Alright, you guys ready? Let's do it. The Cavern of the Sorrel. As you step farther in, you hear a deep, booming voice to speak. At once everywhere and nowhere. You've come far, Red. I'm quite pleased. Suddenly, the Mind Flayer King bursts into existence in front of you, hovering in the air. You take your sword and leap at Atreides, and your sword blasts against the force field protecting him. Probably a spear is what I would have used. A trady lets out a deep, bellowing laugh. Ha 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 ha! Red! Wait. Blue, he says. You've got to learn how to savor this moment. Isn't it these little moments that make life what it is? Besides, 
I really should thank you. Enough games, Atreides. Say what you will. Ah, but it is the game that I set up and which you played so masterfully. That is why I am so impressed. Red is silent, glaring. You haven't realized by now. I wanted you to kill Eren. I corrupted his will, got him to betray you. I gave him the stone with which you used to kill him and told him precisely what he needed to hear so he'd think that he'd be protecting himself by giving it to you. Oh, Atreides. But it was not just enchanted twice, but three times. Once to create the protection stone, which I traded for the knowledge of your father's location, twice to tie his life to the stone, and a third time to unleash the most powerful forces of evil this world has ever seen. Yeah. But I needed you, Red. You see, darkness thrives on darkness, and the spell that contained this army remained locked by this pure spirit of your father. To break the seal, a warrior of pure spirit and innocence must be corrupted by the lust for vengeance. Well, we have been pretty single-minded on killing this guy. And you played right into it. You played right into it. All you needed, Red, Blue, was a little push. On Atreides' face was a grinning smile so wicked it becomes etched into your mind. But I'll give you a chance, Red. See if you can handle this. And with that, Atreides vanishes in a dark magic energy, summoning the sorrow in his place. Okay, let's go figure that out. I really don't want to fight slimes and skeletons at the same time. I'm not 100% sure that melee is going to work just by how the rage went, but uh, we'll try. Okay. So read the sign, of course, first. Come on, blue. Just use the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of coral, lots of water leaf, lots of shadow scale. Sort of typical boss. Um, not to, uh, I really should clean up my inventory first, you know, but uh, whatever. Buff up. And then pick some stuff up. Who needs sapphires? Uh, loot all. There we go. Shadow skills. I'm not really going to use magic here, so we'll be fine. Alright. Okay, that's not a good start. Taking all this damage before I even get ready for the fight. Alright, there we go. Full power. Summon. Oh, Ancient Dragon Scale Helmet. Hmm. That could be exciting. Coral Sword, Essence of Man. I've got all kinds of stuff to craft now, for sure. All the Mithril weapons. And the Watery Egg. There we go. Alright, so uh, one thing I will do quickly is set my spawn here. I will fight him one time just normal without going back to town to set up. But I'll probably just die. <laughs> just saying. Alright, let's do this thing. Watery egg. The sorrel has awoken. Alright, it's another... F oh, it's actually a lot like the rage. Alright. Can I... Oh, he's got 15,000 HP. This is probably not a great idea to melee at all. That's that's like the worst idea ever. Alright, good. He does his little dash attacks that I can't dodge. I love those. Alright, well, we can play this game. This game I can handle. At least he gives you a little bit of a, a warning that he's going to charge at you. He sort of glows for a second. Not like it really helps me dodge anyway. I mean... He's like super speed. Do do do. Oh well, I think we'll be okay. I don't think he does too much damage. I mean, that was 21 damage. That's not too bad. And well, that was 50. That hurt a little bit more. Heal up. All right. How are, how are we doing for DPS here? We got him about a third of the way down. Well, oh, I fell in a hole. I think we'll be okay. I, I think basically he just doesn't do enough damage to counteract my healing potions. Um, probably. Let's try some, some uh, magic. Oh yeah, that does more DPS. Well, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> that put him on rage mode. Wow. <laughs> I think we should stick with the arrows, guys. I think, I think honestly, we'll just stick with the arrows. The arrows are fine. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Storm just immediately puts him onto hard mode. No, let, let's just do it nice and patient. Patient. No, don't kill me. I'm sorry. I apologize. 
What? Why do I keep getting stuck in that rock there? Like, is that rock bugged out? It's like every time I, yeah, I fall through the ground every time I go there. Oh, also buffs. Okay, well, I'm not doing as good as I was before. After his little insanity mode, now uh, I'm having a hard time keeping up on the healing. So I got, I got, I got to play it safe here for a little bit, guys. Or I'm gonna be dead. And I might be dead anyway. Shoot. Ah! Nowhere to dodge. I am taking a lot of damage from that wall, honestly. For some reason, every time I run over there, I fall into a wall and take, like, stuck damage. Well, 12 seconds. He's gonna probably dash at me before the 12 seconds is up. Yeah. Come on. Nope. Couldn't dodge it that way either. Come on, potion. Well, I'm just barely hanging in there. He's down to 4,500 health. Blood Moon. I really, uh, I really don't want a Blood Moon right now, game. Okay. Well, that time his little dash almost didn't get me. Oh, and then that did 68 damage. Ouch. Sometimes he does a lot more damage than others, I gotta say. Sometimes he does like 10 or 20. Maybe he gets like a critical hit. Ha ha ha, you missed me finally for once. Take that, stupid rage. Ha ha ha. And then he hit me anyway, of course. Of course. Well, if I manage to kill him with this repeater. Actually, what am I doing? I have holy arrows. I'm using the worst arrows I have. Let's use, at least use the unholy arrows. They do more damage. They can hit him a couple times. I've been fighting him with flame arrows this whole time and he's not weak against fire. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry guys. Not very smart. Well, there was nowhere to dodge that time. Okay, take a potion. I'm actually feeling pretty good. My health is slowly actually going upwards a little bit. Yeah, this arrow actually does a lot more damage, these arrows, because it pierces him a couple times. You can hear it hurt, sort of hitting him twice per arrow. There we go. So that would be that would have been much easier if I just started with uh, with that. Now the other thing is I just heard that it was a blood moon, and I uh, I don't really want to deal with a blood moon at this moment. Hey, I got a mini shark. Awesome. Oh, the mini shark is kind of cheap though. If I use the mini shark plus the crystal bullets, or you know the mega shark, which I probably will. Um, that thing is like the most overpowered weapon in the world. In Omnir's mod, no matter how awesome your magic was, when it came right down to it, an ranged armor plus the Mega Shark and Crystal Bullet still killed everything way faster than normal. So anyway, what else? Is there anything else here? Crest of Water. Oh, I better make sure I get that. Um, water Leaf. There we go. A second piece. Are these artifacts part of a puzzle? This shard contains a riddle. Beneath the burning hot sun, heading against the western winds, a violet glow illuminates the path. Um, heading against the western winds, a violet glow. I assume we're looking for a purple torch then, but I don't know. I don't know offhand where that is. Okay. Um, we fought that boss. I definitely could have done better if I'd used. Uh, better arrows right off the bat. That would have made it much easier. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to go pick up my obsidian potion and go down this way because uh, I have a feeling there's something under that lava down here and I want to do that while I'm still in the area. So we'll, we'll go back to town. Well, what was that? Okay, I don't like the sound of whatever that was. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Shadow mage? Okay, let's just set our spawn. And then die, probably. 47,000 souls. Okay, well, he dies quickly at the very least. Wow. Okay, I set my respawn, my teleporter thing. Let's head back to town before I blow up. I'm pretty sure I have, like, one precious obsidian skin potion left. Yeah. So we're going to use that. Um, I'm just going to stock some stuff in here. I'll have to do some inventory management later. Maybe next episode I'll do some off camera. Save that egg. Okay, I've got lots of space again. I should be fine. Crest. Mini shark. Oh, that's going to be awesome. How much was it to make? I just need the illegal gun parts. Whoa, 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 what, what? 
Why is death trying to kill me? Death? Death? It's not time for death. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, I can't even take a potion. I'm totally dead. Um, okay, maybe I can hit my spawn in time so that I just come back here immediately. Come on, click, click, click. Got it. Well, at least I clicked my spawn time in time. Why is death trying to kill me, guys? That's not nice. <laughs> Murdered by death? Is he still here? <laughs> How did I summon death? Oh, it's the blood moon. I bet you it's the freaking... I forgot about that. I do not want... Okay, enough of that. Actually, I don't even want it to be... I want it to be daytime. Oh, is de Does death show up as soon as it's a blood moon, guys? Seriously? Is that how this works now? That that could go really badly. Wow. Well, at least he didn't kill my little goblin friend. Um, what I was thinking, uh, before I forget... Oh, I hid my adamantite glaive. Anyway, what I w let's just do what I was thinking. I got too many things going on in my head. Let's, let's go back to the uh, hell area. And uh, let's do our potion. One day we'll have the red armor and then we won't have to do it like this. But this should work for now. Unless this is a huge... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a sign. Question mark sign? Okay. It's like, why are you jumping down here sign? You're crazy red slash blue. Is that really it? Aw, that was lame. I wasted an obsidian skin potion for that. Nothing. Oh, well. Well, I'm pretty sure I explored all this Soro area pretty well. It connected up to the crystal caverns. So that means it's like basically fight the twins or fight the fight the Merolith. There must be something else I'm missing. I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Might have to look back at my old videos see what I missed. Okay, well let's just end today's episode with uh, a little bit of crafting. I've got tons of souls. What could I craft that's really good right now? Like, super awesome. Um, adamantite glaive. Right. I can only craft... Well, the Hear You Spear, 45,000. Should I just make that? Very fast, strong knockback. It's almost double the damage. I use my spear all the time. I wonder, guys. Do you think I should just do that? I think I'm just going to do that. I've got enough souls. I know I keep saying I'm going to use magic, but that's an awesome looking spear. Like, that's epic looking spear. Let's go find that demon altar. Can I just, uh, yeah, let's just go down here. That's the fastest way, probably. Alright, so, uh, the Hear You Spear, 90 melee damage. That's awesome. That's a ton of damage. What I get? Strong? I'm going to go spend a lot of money on that, actually. Well, I hope you guys don't mind wasting all my souls on a weapon instead of uh, armor, magic armor. Like, one of these days I'm going to go with magic, I promise. But, uh, 90 damage by default? Pick up some platinum. I got lots of money. I got tons of money. Let's go see if I can get it up to legendary or something. So, by right now, it's 90 damage. Hey, how would you like to reforge this um, strong weapon? It's very expensive, but I got lots of money. That was a bad one. Bad, bad, not that great. It'll probably cost like a platinum once I get it right. 60, not bad. 99 melee damage plus speed. Hmm. What if I should just take that? Wasting a lot of money here. No. No. Mm. Nope. Well, let's have a look. It's actually not fast enough. Minus 13 per speed. It just slows it down enough that I don't like it. Shoot. Okay. Now well, let's spend some more money. We're just going to spend all our money on this weapon. There we go. 91 godly. I'll take it. 104 melee damage. It's got its normal speed. 
Still not quite as fast as my old one. Pretty close. Um, very fast. Yeah, I mean, I think this goes... Like, this was fast. Yeah, this is definitely faster. Um, but this one does, like, double damage. Yeah, more than double the damage. Wow. So a little bit slower. Wow, we are the melee kings. 108 damage to the bunny. <laughs> well, I spent all my souls anyway. So, uh... I guess it's a little bit short episode, but I think I'll wrap things up because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do next. Uh, there's still some shadow chests I could go check out, certainly. Um, got this mega shark. What do I need to upgrade that? Shark fins. I've actually not found a single shark yet, so I can't actually do that yet. Um, at some point, though, that will be one of our key weapons. Just not yet. Um... Yeah, the Clockwork Assault Rifle might be better at the moment, but uh, we'll get there. Okay, actually got lots of Cursed Bullets. Look at all that. Quick Stack, not Quick Stack. Lots of Holy Arrows as well. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time off camera in between sessions. Now I'm going to end the episode, end the session. I'll do some inventory cleanup, and I'll do some thinking about sort of where I want to go next, basically. Because... Uh, I mean, you can leave comments. Maybe maybe the comments will help me. I'm not sure just where to. Like, uh, obviously there's a couple bosses I could fight now. The Twins and Merilith. But what's the next dungeon? Where do you go for that? I don't know. Um, somewhere I need to get a Mithril Drill to open up the left area. Where else can my Cobalt Drill take me? Um, was there a, a, a wall in Hell, in the Hell Temple? Fire Temple? Was there one in the Obsidian Temple or the Forgotten City or something that I didn't remember? I don't know. I can't remember. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day. Okay, so stop. You? Yes, you. You know who I'm talking to. Stop it right now. Don't you write a single more word. And you over there. Yep, you too. And all you other people that are thinking about writing something right now. Stop. Do not post that comment. Think about it. Think about it before you do. For the love of all that's holy, please, just give me a second. <laughs> Alright, folks. So, yes. I realized as soon as I reviewed the footage, I missed something from the last boss. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. It turns out that buried under all those arrows was a mithril drill. And guess what? I don't have it because I've already reloaded the map. Aw, isn't that sad. On the other hand, there's good news. I'm going to go refight that boss for you guys for a bonus bit for today's episode, if I can find the summoning item. So we are going to go have a rematch with the Soro, uh, which I, of course, did not put away his item in the correct spot. So that's that's pretty typical blue there. Uh, robot hat, crest of water, no, watery egg, there we go. All right, so let's try this again. Um, I am going to use some different weapons, though, this time. Uh, for one... I have more potions ready to go, and I actually was thinking, oh come on, just throw that away. Pick it up, throw it away so I don't have to deal with it. I was thinking I'm actually going to bring the Philosopher's Stone this time instead of the uh, in Intrepid Soul Reaper, just to make it a little bit easier on the healing. That's always useful, you can get sort of 25% more healing out of that. And I'm going to do it melee style with my godly Hiryu. Hiryu. Hi, Ryu. I have no idea. Anyway, it does so much damage, I'm going to give it a try. Failing that, we'll resort to the Demonic Clockwork Assault Rifle plus Crystal Bullets. But uh, we'll see if we can do it legit. So anyway, uh, yeah, our new spear is pretty darn powerful. Not quite as fast as the other one, but with over double the speed, or double the damage, you don't need to be fast. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. I hope I don't have a billion comments about this already. Like, I probably do. Oh, I forgot to buff up. There we go. The, the reach on this spear might not be quite as good either as the uh, as the other spear. I'm not 100% sure. Come here. Come on, come on. Stop flying around, stupid bird. Come here so I can stab you. Everyone likes to see melee fights, right? That's, that's what you guys are all in for. You like the melee? I just hope I don't out DPS him too much. So yeah, so he turns invisible and kills me. <laughs> uh, so that's bad when that happens. He uh, he he definitely does a lot more damage on super craze mode. So just give me a second here to heal up before I go after him again. Uh, I'm gonna definitely try to do it with melee. Um, with the super speed boots, it makes it a bit easier. And get off me! 
Oh, there's nowhere to dodge that time, yeah. Going into that hallway is a bad idea. Ten seconds. Can I live for ten seconds? Five seconds. His dodging his little balls isn't too bad. Ha ha ha. Well, not always. Okay. So he's gonna dive at me. Yeah, at least I hit him. Alright. Yeah, the, the trouble is, if you get him into, de into uh, the crazy mode, rage mode, whatever we'll call it, uh, limit break. No, I, I don't know, whatever you call it. He's definitely a lot harder to, to deal with. So maybe I should just hit him a couple times and then dodge out of the way or something. Like that. Ah. Still not very good at dodging. I know I should be trying to do, like, grappling onto the roof stuff. That might make me go a little bit faster, but... I don't know. Okay, let's just not hit him for a second. A rage mode right now will kill me, so let's just hold off. Ah, Ron, right into his balls. Okay, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Come on, blue. H. There we go. Well, that, that must have been close. What, I have like type two life for a second there? Haha! -ha, I jumped over him that time for the rareness. So how are we doing anyway? We're, we've got him a third of the way down. I'm not doing super well as far as HP goes. I think if I can just keep him out of rage mode, though, it won't be too bad. That seems to be the key. Ouch. Mostly the key. Also, um, I'm still regenerating quickly, right? Yeah. That's the that's the main thing. I probably recover more HP from fast regeneration than I do from the potions, to be honest. Over a full boss fight. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so close. Come on. Nope, not good. Come on. Oh, I was like a half a second away. No. All right. Well, melee is just not my style. I'd have to do too much like grapple hooking around, and if I was careful enough to never. Uh, to never cause him to go into crazy mode, I'd probably be okay. Instead, let's finish him off with the bullets. <laughs> this is this is probably gonna do way too much damage. <laughs> also, rebuff. Yeah, we're already at bad mode. Nope, that went right into him. That was a bad idea, Blue. What was I thinking? Come on, time for you to die. Well. Or me to die. Either way, someone will die. <laughs> I mean, doing all the damage here is kind of fun. Ah, oh, I thought that might work. Almost jumped over him. Okay, come on. Press H. Press H. Okay, I think we got him. This crystal bullets are just so cheap. But I figured uh, for the second time, if I had to, it wouldn't be too bad. Too big of a deal. Just imagine once I've got a Mega Shark and then a proper, like, uh, uh, range set of armor. It's just going to be so bad. Yeah. Ah, tried to, like, break off my jump. Ha! Anyway, he's dead. And yes, he drops the Adamantite Drill. It doesn't actually... Like, the Crystal Bullets aren't that good against normal enemies. It's like bosses that are big. That's the main thing. Against little guys, this thing, this so spear does so much damage. Anyway, so yeah, we've got an adamantite drill. Hooray. Uh, I think that was all I really wanted to cover. <laughs> Actually, there is one more thing, but I'll, I'll probably do it next episode. There was a comment suggesting I go uh, back to the uh, wyvern mage area and uh, explore in a certain direction. So anyway, now that I've got the adamantite drill, I know where I should go. I can go up to the left and hit a new dungeon. Woohoo! Although I still might look for some more uh, shadow keys in between or some shadow chests in between. We'll see how I feel. Actually, I want to save more of those. We can we can waste some iron skin potions. They're not that great. Okay, so there you go, guys. A little bit of a bonus episode for you. I don't think I'll need three crests of water. I think we'll be okay. And I'll put it back to normal mode there. And yeah, so there. Bonus mode, I hope I don't have 100 comments. Please don't leave me 100 comments about missing the adamantite drill. I did see it as soon as I checked the footage. I just didn't notice it hiding behind the arrows. <sighs> yeah, I know. Face palm, face palms everywhere. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the extra bonus segment. And see you next time. Have a great day, folks.